friends, my name is Beth and I am so excited to be with you today. I thought we could paint together and today I wanted to paint something really special, an animal. You can see on my paper that I have a tree. So what type of animals do you think could live in a tree? Oh, did someone say a squirrel? That's right, that's a good guess. What else? Oh, Maybe a raccoon? Yeah, they can climb up in trees. What about something with feathers? <gasps> Did you say a bird? Birds definitely love to be in trees. Today, I thought we'd make one of my favorite birds. One of my favorite birds is a bird that makes a sound like this. Hoo, hoo. Can you guess what bird goes hoo, hoo? An owl, you're exactly right. I thought we would make a big, beautiful owl to sit on this branch in the tree. Now we're going to use something really special to make our owl. Have you ever seen something like this in your bathtub at home? Yeah, it's a bath sponge. You can use a bath sponge to paint with. This is going to be our paintbrush. So you'll need a bath sponge and some paint, any color. You can make your owl any color you want. And then if you want, you could cut some eyes out. Maybe your mom or your grandma or your aunt or big sister could help you cut some circles out of paper to make the eyes for the owl. And don't forget, they have eyes just like us. And what is this in the middle of our face? <gasps> Yes, a nose, but this is not a nose on an owl. It's called a beak. So if you have all your supplies, your bath sponge and your paint, this is how we'll do it. We'll take our bath sponge and go down into the paint and dip it around. Does it look like I have enough? It does? I think so too. Let's start with the body of the owl. So you're gonna start here near the branch and make a big, feathery tummy. Oh, that's a good feathery tummy. Oh, that looks so good. Let's make him big. Okay, now we're gonna do his head. We'll just do a smaller circle on the top. Here we go. Oh, I think I need a little bit more paint. Get a little paint on there. Does that look good? Oh, good, here we go. Let's make that owl's head. Oh, he looks so good, he's so feathery. Oh, now let's do another color. I think I'm gonna do maybe a lighter brown for some lighter feathers. Here we go. All right, how does that look? Oh, good? Awesome. Do you know that owls have really great eyesight and really great hearing. They can hear and see, and they can see in the dark. They actually love the dark. They stay up all night and sleep all day. Now we have his belly and we have his head. Let's put on his eyes. You don't actually need glue for this because your paint is still wet. You can take your circles that you cut out with your mom or your friend, and you can go and just stick them on the wet paint, and the paint acts like glue. Ta-da! Now let's put another circle on top for the eyes. Here we go. This time I'm going to put just a little paint on my paintbrush to act as glue. Do, 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 do. Boop, boop, boop. And stick it right in the middle. Oh, he's looking cute! Do, 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 do. And there we go. So cute, look at those eyes. And let's give him just a little, just a little dot there. Oh, he's looking great. Now we have his two eyes. What's missing? Did you say the beak? Exactly, exacto mundo. We've got to put his beak on. What shape is his beak? One, two, three sides. It's a triangle. Here we go, onto our wet paint. Ta-da! Now tell me again, what sound does an owl make? Hoo, hoo, you're right. I hope you have fun making an owl at home too. So now you'll have an owl inside to look at. I hope you had fun today and I'll see you again next time. Bye friends. 